So what I'm doing here is I'm experimenting with welding this nickel strip to a 19650 battery. Now this is an old depleted battery that I'm experimenting with. Okay. So what I've got here is a toroidal transformer. And now I put 20 turns of wire through this, through the transformer. Now each turn is giving me 550 millivolts. So with 20 turns I'm getting 6 volts. Now this wire that I'm using over here is 6 millimeters square. What's happening is that this wire is not thick enough for the current that I need for this weld over here. I'm not getting the weld I want. So that means I need to use thicker wire. But that means I need a bigger transformer. Okay, but we're getting there, so we're getting there with some numbers and an idea of how this works and where we need to go with it. So 6 volts is working quite well for me. I just need more current so that we, we're heating the weld and not the wire. Okay, so I've got a bigger transformer. I'm going to get that wound. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go with four strands of this wire so you're going to have four times the cross section so that will be 24 square millimeters so that should give us a current we need at our probes over here and uh, give us a decent weld because the moment the nickel welds melts and welds to the battery the the joint cools down you need to keep going at that point and also that weld should be happening a lot quicker. It's taking too long. You don't want to spend time heating up the battery. So this is interesting research that's been done here. And I'm able to share some information with you that's interesting. And uh, how, it, how it works and what we're seeing. Right. We're out of time. Thanks for watching this video. Take care. Have an awesome day further. I'll see you next time for more awesome stuff. Bye.